So a question recently came up in the community about how to create tables in Excel and then give the tables the name. So I'm just gonna do a quick informal video here for you all. So I just had Copilot create me some fake data and so none of these people are real. And what you're gonna do to create a table is you're gonna highlight all of the data that needs to be included. So in this case, it's the cell range from A1 to D11. And then from the home tab at the top of the screen, we're gonna go to the style section and then we're gonna say format as table. Now there's all these little table templates that you can use and pick whichever one is easiest for you. I'm just gonna click the orange one and then this little create a table box is gonna pop up and it's going to confirm your cell range for you. And then here, because I have the name, city, and hire date at the top, these are headers. So I need to tell it that yes, my table does include headers so that it doesn't add an extra layer in there. I'm just gonna click okay. And now this has been turned into a table with these little headers up here that we can start using for filtering and what have you. But it also automatically put us on the table design tab. And I wanna draw your attention to the property section over here. And notice right now it says table three because I have other hidden tables in this Excel file. And what you wanna do is you wanna give these tables a name, especially if you're going to use them to call information to other places like Power Automate or into a pivot table. We're just gonna call this new hire with no space. And that's it. That's how you can take your unstructured data and turn it into a table, then give the table a name to make your Excel data easier to work with.